and in business on the sidelines of the going uh, of the going for growth initiative africa's richest man aliko dangote spoke on the need to encourage smes to run their businesses through the reduced cost of running businesses as well as reducing tariff for those who import machineries for local production cost of doing business can actually affect everybody i mean to tell you the truth government lost so much money last year in uh, uh, in uh, the traffic logjam of Apapa alone. We as a company, actually our three companies lost over 30 billion in terms of, uh, you know, profit, which also the government will collect less taxes from us. So we need to look at infrastructure, we need to look at uh, power, because without power, there won't be growth. Because that's what will actually propel a lot of these uh, SMEs to actually you know, be almost everywhere, in Kano, in Jos, in, uh, uh, you know, Abad, in Potako, all over the place. So the, is it impossible to diversify? No, it's not impossible to diversify. But you know, there are quite a lot. We need three things. One, we need low interest rates which I think will achieve something like that today. Number two, we need long-term funds. Number three, we need support by CBN to back that up with foreign exchange. And I think my governor, that is the governor of Central Bank, my advice is that rather than us to focus more on imports, we should reduce that and do like the way Ethiopia did. Ethiopia will give preference to people who will bring in machineries to produce rather than now importing to consume. I mean, at a point, my heart actually bled when I realized that, yes, it was announced by customs that, yes, our revenue, I mean, customs collected 1.3 trillion, 1.35 trillion as import duties. It means that the economy is not working. If the economy is working, customs shouldn't collect that much money. We should produce more. In fact, it should be the IFRS that will collect that much money, not customs.